Hi, I'm Jimmy. Today I'm going to explain to you the difference between salmon and trout. You may have seen this in the supermarket, but you may not have known the difference between the Norwegian salmon and Norwegian trout. Okay? To begin, Norwegian salmon, we have, if you look at it, the fish is actually different in terms of the, the length of the fish, which is actually sharper and longer. It has a darker overtone at the back of the fish compared to a fjord trout, which is basically lighter in colour and it has an orangey centre part that runs through the body of the fish. Okay? So, Norwegian salmon and trout are actually two different kinds of fish. They're not the same family. They both have the same colour, but they're not the same fish. Okay? So here, I'm just going to show you that the salmon, again, has a longer body shape, a slightly thinner belly compared to a trout, which has a larger belly and a slightly wider body compared to a salmon. It's actually a thinner fish to begin with. So you may wonder, how would I know the fish is from Norway? Very simple. When you go to the supermarket and buy the fish, the first thing you look for is the seafood from Norway logo. As long as you see this logo on the packaging, then you will know that the fish is actually from Norway. It's uh, origin from Norway. So how do you see how fresh the fish is? By the appearance of the whole fish, you can actually look at the eyes. If the eyes is not sunken and it's bright like this, you will know that the fish is actually fresh. What we normally do as a chef is we will open up the gills and take a look at the gills inside. If it's super red like this now, then you know it's actually very, very fresh. So this is one indicator, it's actually the first indicator of how fresh the fish is. Okay, here we go. Here's a really clean fillet of Norwegian trout. So what we have here is the whole fillet. We have the belly, the loin, and the tail. So I will remove the belly first. So here you have a trout belly. I'm going to divide this fillet now into three portions in order to explain to you how. So, this is actually the top loin of the fish, and this is the part where you normally have your sushi, sashimi, and these are called the top loin. Okay? The meat loin here, which still can be used as sushi and sashimi, but it's normally used more for things like steaks, stir fries, and pan fry. When you come back to the tail, if you want to do things like stir fry for fried rice, fried noodles, porridge or, what, or that manner, this is the best part to use. And you use the front part for your better cooking in terms of having your sushi sashimi, your steaks or your kebabs or whatever. The belly is actually very good for things like grilling or even deep frying. And it's actually super beautiful because you get a lot more oil at the belly here and there's actually more moisture into the belly when you actually cook it. And one thing that's more important that I need to emphasize, and I do it all the time, is when you cook trout or even Norwegian salmon, the most important thing is never, never overcook the fish. Because if you overcook the fish, the fish becomes dry and you won't taste the smoothness, the silkiness and the flavor of the fish as much as if you do it a bit medium rare or medium. Okay, how do you store your fresh trout? So the best way to keep it in the fridge is actually to pack it tight. There are two ways to do it, either with a plastic bag or with a cling film that you can actually use to keep your fish. So what I would advise you to do is to have the fish in a plastic bag like this. And what you should do in order to have it kept longer is as much as possible is to remove all the air in the plastic bag and have it wrapped tight with no air inside as much as possible. You can put it in the fridge or the freezer.